Harry and the Bucket Full of Dinosaurs by Ian Wybrow and Adrian Reynolds. Nan thought the attic needed a clear out. She let Harry help. Harry found an old box all grey with dust. He lifted the lid. Dinosaurs! Harry took the dinosaurs downstairs. He unbent the bent ones. He fixed all the broken ones. He got up on a chair and washed them in the sink. Nan came to see and say, Just what do you think you're wrapped to? Dinosaurs don't like boxes, Harry said. They want to be in a bucket. Sam came in from watching TV. She said it was stupid, fussing over so much junk. Dinosaurs aren't junk, Harry said. The next day, Harry went to the library with Mum. He took the dinosaurs in their bucket. He found out all the names in a book and told them to the dinosaurs. He spoke softly to each one. He whispered, you are my Scalidothorus, you are my Stegothorus, you are my Triceratops. And there were enough names for all the Apatosauruses and Ankyosauruses and Tyrannosauruses. The dinosaurs said, Thank you, Harry. They said it very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. After that, the dinosaurs went everywhere in Harry's bucket. They went shopping. They went to the garden centre. They went to the beach. When Harry had a bath, the dinosaurs had a bath. When Harry went to bed, the dinosaurs went to bed. Sometimes they got left behind, but they never got lost for long because Harry knew all their names. And he always called out their names just to make sure they were safe. One day, Harry went on a train with Nan. He was so excited, he forgot all about the bucket. Nan dried his eyes. Never mind, she said. I'll buy you a nice new video. Harry watched the video with Sam. It was nice, but not like the dinosaurs. At bedtime, Harry said to Mum, I like videos, but I like my dinosaurs better because you can fix them, you can bath them, you can take them to bed, and best of all, you can say their name. Harry was still upset at breakfast next morning. Sam said, Dusty old junk. That was why Sam's book got milk on it. Nan took Harry to his room to settle down. Later, Nan took Harry back to the train station to see the lost property man. The man said, Dinosaurs? Yes, we have found some dinosaurs, but how do we know they are your dinosaurs? Harry said, I will close my eyes and call their names. Then you will know. And Harry closed his eyes and called the names. He called, Come back, my Scalidothorus. Come back, my Stegothorus. Come back, my Triceratops. He called, Come back to the Apatosauruses and the Ankysauruses and the Tyrannosauruses and all the lost old dinosaurs. And when he opened his eyes, there they were, all of them standing on the counter next to the bucket. All correct, said the man. These are definitely your dinosaurs, definitely. And the dinosaurs whispered to Harry. They whispered very quietly, but just loud enough for Harry to hear. They said, You are definitely our Harry, definitely. Going home from the station, Harry held the bucket very tight. Nan said to the old neighbour, 
Are Harry likes those old dinosaurs? Definitely, whispered Harry. And my dinosaurs definitely like me. Endosaurus.